Connectivism Learning Theory of the Digital Era In order to understand theory of connectivism, first, we need to talk about devolution of knowledge. In the past, information development was slow, and the life of knowledge was measured in decades. However today, through technological development, knowledge is growing exponentially. For example, in the past 10 years, the amount of knowledge in the world has doubled, and, it is doubling every 18 months. Therefore, the life of knowledge is now measured, in months and years. Due to the massive amount, and the short lifespan of knowledge, recognizing and choosing relevant knowledge, has become an essential part of learning. When it comes to learning, recognizing and choosing relevant knowledge is not addressed in the most commonly used learning theories, such as behaviorism, cognitivism, and constructivism. According to these theories, learning is related to individuals' personal understanding and perception of knowledge. Also, those learning theories are focused on the process of learning, not on the value of what is being learned. However with technological development, learning isn't any more about what you know. But it is also about where you can find knowledge. Thus, nowhere is supplementing know how and know what. The need to evaluate the worthiness of learning something is a meta skill that is applied even before learning itself begins. Therefore, there was a need for new learning theory, suitable for the digital era. According to the theory of connectivism, learning can reside outside of the individuals. For example, learning can be found in an organization, a database, or in other non human appliances. Learning is focused on Connecting Specialized Information Sets The connections that enable us to learn further are, more important than, our current state of knowing. Here are, some examples of underlying principles of connectivism. 1. Learning and knowledge are built on, diverse opinions. 2. Maintaining connections, is needed to facilitate continual learning. 3. The purpose of learning activities is, accurate and up-to-date knowledge. And 4. Decision-making is, itself a learning process. To conclude, connectivism brings us together. Just like Karen Stevenson said, since we cannot experience everything, other people's experiences, and hence, other people, become the surrogate for knowledge. I store my knowledge in my friends, is an axiom for collecting knowledge through collecting people. Learning is changing continuously. Knowledge is no longer bound to specific person, place, or time, thanks to the technology. Learning theory of the digital era. Connectivism.